Mark Finucane is a national figure in public health and the healthcare industry. A managing director with Alvarez and Marcel in Los Angeles, Mark is a healthcare advisor known for his policy creativity and recognized for his extensive leadership. Prior to joining Alvarez and Marcel's healthcare industry group, he spent seven years with Ernst & Young as co-director of their academic medical center practice. Before that, Mark directed the Los Angeles County Department of Health Services, the nation's second largest health system with, at the time of his appointment as director in 1996, a $2.34 billion annual operating budget and more than 26,000 budgeted positions. From 1984 to 1996, Mark was director of the Contra Costa County Health Services Department. His first position in public health was with the Sedgwick County Health Department, but his career really took off while he was with the San Francisco Department of Health and San Francisco Hospital. But that was after a most active time on campus at Wichita State during the tumultuous days of the 1970s. I met Mark Finucane in 1972, when we were both students here, I was in the business school and Mark was in political science. We didn't have classes together, but we had a lot of friends in common, so we'd see each other at parties and social gatherings and campus events. Mark was uh, a Vietnam veteran when he arrived on the campus in 1970 and became student body president in 1973. And I learned very fast that uh, talking to somebody who was 26 uh, was uh, quite a bit different than talking with a student leader who was 22. He was a really fine student body president, high energy, uh, high intelligence, action oriented. Uh, I tried to keep up with him, but uh, I would have to say that by Alka-Seltzer intake that year increased about 30%. The 70s was a different time. It was still caught in the grips of the Vietnam conflict. Uh, many students at WSU feared getting draft notices and having their educations uh, abruptly changed. Student fashion was utterly different. You had bell-bottoms, tie-dye shirts, fringed leather jackets, styling that came out of the 60s. Mark Finucane arrived on campus being discharged from the Army in military intelligence. Uh, his hair was short, his dress was conventional. After a short period of time though, Mark adapted. His hair started growing and growing and growing and his dress started reflecting the students around him. By virtue of his military career, Mark was four years older than most of the students around him. And that maturity and that ability uh, served him well as student government president. I remember one of my earliest exchanges with him. Uh, he said, uh, he was with his sidekick, Rex, and he said to me, well, Dean, that's just a bunch of manure. Actually, manure wasn't the word. But I said, well, how would you know? I'm not even sure you can spell radigan. And that was our introduction to what would become a very good and close relationship. One of the things that Mark did when he was student body president was uh, trying to resolve a problem with the athletic department. All kinds of rumors associated with it uh, uh, surrounded the issue, where does our money go when it goes down to the athletic department? And so Mark went directly to President Allberg and said, you know, we need to have a student representative on the athletic board. And President Allberg agreed, and to this very day, now there are three students uh, on the athletic board even now, which was a contribution that Mark created. His decision to become the president of the Student Government Association, I think, was natural. Uh, and he took it very seriously. 
he accomplished many things which were of great benefit to the students. Uh, one I know he is most proud of and one I was a part of was his support for the newly founded Edwin A. Ulrich Museum of Art. I was a young staff member in 1974 and Mark as SGA president fought hard to get student funding for the museum. Uh, today that seems uh, unusual that the students would uh, spend a lot of money to support the museum's collection. But Mark is, I know, very proud of that now and the benefits to the students exist today. Of Irish descent and a native of New Jersey, Mark Finucane graduated from Wichita State with a bachelor's degree in political science and a long list of accomplishments as a campus leader. His contributions to his alma mater didn't stop with his graduation. In fact, he's proven to be almost as engaged as an alumnus in California as he was when he was a student on campus. He is currently a university donor, having supported the Marcus Welcome Center Building Project and, in 2012, the WSU Alumni Association's Shocker Magazine. Now, it's interesting to note that support of the Alumni Magazine can be traced back to 1975, when he was a student writer for the Association's alumni publications. And, from 1981 to 1986, despite the ever-growing demands of his work in public health, he found the time and energy to serve as president of the Alumni Association's San Francisco WSU Alumni Chapter. Mark studied for a year at Trinity College in Dublin, Ireland. He returned to Wichita and then moved on to San Francisco to serve as an assistant to Mervyn Silverman, the Sedgwick County Health Director for whom Mark worked after graduating from Wichita State in 1976. Dr. Silverman was named director of the San Francisco Department of Public Health in 1977. Mark Finucane, the Irish New Jerseyite and Shocker graduate, had found a professional calling. It was to be public health and the healthcare industry that would benefit directly for some 40 years now from his leadership, executive capability, and policy creativity. His ability has served him extremely well first here at Wichita State, but then becoming a leader in national health care policy. After his year as student body president, uh, Mark uh, decided to keep a promise to himself, and he went abroad, uh, this time to uh, Ireland, where he became a student at Dublin, uh, Dublin's uh, Trinity College. And he told me later that this is when he first discovered how valuable and how uh, excellent his education was as a student on our campus. And he came back with a, with a really greater appreciation of that. When Mark uh, graduated, uh, he uh, went to work in uh, the Sergeant County Health Department for Dr. Mervyn Silverman. And shortly after that time, Dr. Silverman was appointed as uh, Director of um, Public Health for the City of San Francisco, a very large and complex operation and Mark went with him as his operating uh, director. And after su a successful amount of time with Dr. Silverman, uh, Mark became uh, the CEO of the uh, Contra Costa County Public Health, uh, which he served for over 10 years and then serving uh, well more than a million people. It is a smaller population of people who have benefited the very most from Mark's talents and attention his family and friends. His wife Lori is a 1975 sociology graduate of Wichita State, and Mark and Lori have two daughters, Claire and Lucy. And the newest member to join the family is Lucy's husband, Cyril. Although Mark's professional responsibilities are demanding, he and Lori enjoy LA Dodgers baseball, and Mark makes sure he and his staff have fun times out of the office. No matter how busy he is, no matter how demanding his work, he continues to make time for his alma mater. He returned to campus as the commencement speaker for the College of Health Professions as a recent example, and he and Lori and other members of their family have traveled back to campus this week to be with many of Mark's old friends, colleagues, professors, and deans as we celebrate his accomplishments together. 
I really appreciated my long relationship with, with Mark and with Lori, his wife, over all these years. Mark Finucane had an energy level in everything he did, whether it was playing basketball or working or arguing with uh, Clark Alberg or uh, Jim Radigan uh, or any of the administration, uh, representing a point he believed in. And that's Mark Finucane. He, uh, he, he doesn't just talk, he gets it done. Tonight, we are proud to bestow the 2016 Wichita State University Alumni Achievement Award to Mark Finucane. Congratulations, Mark!